What is going on guys? Spencer Eisenhower here uh, with another video and this video is going to be special. There's no music as you can tell because it's going to be longer than usual. This isn't just my usual like holiday video, Christmas, Thanksgiving, all that kind of thing. This is different, okay? As you can see I'm wearing this shirt right here. This, I'm sitting at my desk right now. If I look like I'm laying back, I'm just in my chair. I'm wearing this uh, tie-dye maroon shirt, maroon and white shirt, that I made my first day of senior year of high school. Um, and that was, what day was that? It was September something. I don't know what it was. It was early September. And it was fun. No, that no, that was actually, that was, that was August. Yeah, we went in early to make these in the first day of school we had to wear them. Um, it is currently... A very special day. June 7th, 2017 is, well, this is my last day of high school. Or it basically was, because it's like 8 o'clock at night now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm done with high school. Like, I started high school in 2013, and now it's 2017. That is so weird. I didn't, man, that flew by. Whenever people told me that, oh, it's going to fly by, it's going to... It's going to be fast, it's going to be quick. I was like, okay, yeah, it's four years. That's going to be fast and quick. They're not kidding. It's fast. So, to all of my 10 subscribers that I have who are underclass... How do I put this? Sorry, I should have checked if there's someone or whatever. Enjoy it while you have it. Because time really does fly. Um, so, for me, there was a lot of hard work. Uh, freshman year I came in, I was scared shitless. I was, I was so nervous. And I started to warm up to everyone. I started talking more, and I had a good time. Uh, come sophomore year, it was it was a little easier. You know, I got acclimated with the building. I knew more people. Junior year, <laughs> that was the hardest year. Uh, for me, geometry was the hardest subject. So, geometry sucked. But I, I got through it. I persevered and I passed that class. And now comes senior year. That was the best year of high school by far. Uh, it started off with making these shirts, which is awesome. I love it. I'm always going to keep it. And it ended with my senior prom. And that was fun, because it was on my birthday. So that was kind of cool. Uh, my date was Sam Gottstein, so I took her. We had a great time. I actually danced for once. I never dance. If I do, it's kind of embarrassing to me and everyone else around me. <laughs> I think I did pretty good. It was fun, though. Uh, Post-prom was fun. Senior picnic was prom. I mean, that was prom. That was fun as well. Senior picnic was on a Friday. Prom was on a Saturday. And today is Wednesday, June 7, 2017. And I'm done with high school. My Orchard Park... Central School District experience is now over. Uh, thank you. I want to dedicate this video. If uh, Orchard Park Central School District does see this, thank you for everything. Giving me a good education. And I want to say thank you to a few other people. I want to say thank you because I'm going to college soon. I'm going to college and I, I checked it. It's August 18th. That's in 72 days. And, uh,. Yeah, it should be fun, but again, I'm going to be right back at the bottom. I'm at the top now. Well, I mean, I was at the top because I'm done now, but I was at the top. I was a senior. Now I'm going to be back as a little freshman at some college. And that college is Fredonia State University. Uh, I'm very excited to go. I'm studying communications, radio broadcasting, and sound engineering, and it's going to be fun. Uh, I'm super pumped. Get to know a few people. I know a few people that are going there, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I just want to thank a few people. Uh, <clears throat> to start off with, my family, immediate family, my mom and my dad. Thank you guys for always believing that I can do anything, really. For example, like when I wanted to drive to school, I didn't get my license. Like Driving wasn't an option a year ago. And I now I really all I want to do this year is just be able to drive to school and park in the senior lot. I did that, so that's a plus, right? 
Yeah, there's my thumb. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah, no, that's a plus. And just everything else. Just thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it, and I love you. Um, my sisters, Emma. She's like, for example, she... <laughs> She stayed up with me last night to help me with this huge marketing project that I had to get done, and I waited till the last minute. Oh yeah, by the way, don't procrastinate. It sucks. It sucks terribly. Because I had to stay up till 1.30 last night, and I'm going on four and a half hours of sleep here. So if I stutter or stumble over words, it's because I'm going on four and a half hours of sleep. So anyways, thank you, Emma, for helping me do all that kind of stuff, and uh, I love you as well. Uh, Kelina, she's my older sister. Uh, she owns a, this... I'm hoping people will see this in the future. She owns a bakery in the Orchard Park Village, which is called Kaylee Marie's Bakery. Um, she gave me a job when I got fired, <laughs> or quit, <laughs> from my other job at Tops. Note to self, don't ever work at Tops. That place is not fun to work at at all. But, you know, it's personal preference. That's just my... Uh, see, I'm tired. That's just my opinion. Uh, so she gave me a job, and I'm still working there as a dishwasher. It's great. Um, so thank you for that, for all the money and everything, and I'm glad to help out the family business. Um, and now my non and papa, thank you guys for always giving me rides home from school when I didn't have my permit or my license, and just for helping out, like, the family business, always believing in me. Papa, you are my hero, <laughs> still, because you always say that to me, so right back at you. Um, Nana, I love you. Papa, I love you. Uh, my grandma and grandpa, no longer with us, but I still love you guys. Uh, my cousins, I mean, they didn't really help me with school, but I still love them. <laughs> Aunts and uncles, always believed in me. I love you. Uh, next up is Mrs. Granis, Kim Granis. She's been with me since kindergarten, I think it was. And, yeah, that was, let's see, 13 years ago? I started off with her, and I was just a little punk back then. Didn't know what I was doing. And um, definitely didn't have this jawline, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, no, thank you, Mrs. Grannis, for everything you've done for me, for all the support and uh, dedication that you put into me for helping me with my vision and stuff like that. So I appreciate that, and I know you care about me. I care about you, so thank you again. I really appreciate all the work you've done for me. And uh, I'm going to say I love you, because I do, because you're like family to me. Uh, next up, Mr. Tom Stahl. <laughs> uh, I first met Mr. Stahl when I was in seventh grade. I came off the. I still remember this clearly. I came off the bus, and I saw this this guy. He was really tall because I was only in seventh grade at the middle school, Orchard Park Middle School. He was really tall, and he had a hat like a. I don't know if it was a top hat. I don't know, but he had like a hat with like a brim on the outside. And he, he had glasses on, too. Um, and he was like, hey, I, didn't, I had no idea who he was. He was like, hey, Spencer, I'm going to be help My name is Tom Stahl. I'm going to be helping you out this year. And I was like, okay, I'll give this guy a shot. Six years later, senior year, and I just said goodbye to him today. I always go to his gigs, so I'm going to go this summer to a lot of his gigs. Uh, Tom, thank you for all the help you've given me. I really do appreciate it, because without you, I would not probably have made it to where I am today finishing high school as a senior. So thank you. I really do appreciate it. And, um, yeah, I'll never forget you. And, uh, we always had this saying, tu es croutant, which means in French, you are a dog. And I always said to him, ferme la bouche, which in French means shut your mouth. We always had this joke, like, shut up is a great song, because he's in the band, Tom Stall and the Danger Feuds. Danger Feuds. Oh, God, I'm tired. Tom Stahl in the Danger Fields. Um, I'll link that below in the description. And, uh, yeah, they're really good. Go check them out. Go to some of their gigs uh, on Facebook. You can check them out on their page. Uh, yeah, so thank you, Tom. I really appreciate it. And, yeah. Thank you. So, who's next? I'm trying to think of who else. If OP Central School District does see this to all the teachers who I've had, thank you for helping me along the way. Um, you guys gave me a great education. Oh, to one teacher in particular, Mr. Stephen Kennedy. He was my audio, no, it was communications class teacher, and we did. We had to make videos, we had to do sound, we had to do all that. 
He is the reason that, if, Mr. Kennedy, if you say this, you're the reason, he is the reason that I want to go to school for what I'm doing, which is a mix of audio, sound, broadcasting, radio, TV, everything. I, I don't know, that just, that was the best class that I have ever taken, so keep up the good work, that class is awesome, don't change the thing. Uh, and you, I also had Mr. Kennedy in my, um, basic auto class, he taught me all this stuff about cars, how to change tires, how to change oil, I forgot it, it was a while ago, but yeah, that was a cool class. So yeah, that's all the people I can really think of, um... Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you again to everyone. Seriously, without you guys, I would not be where I am today. Uh, you may be the person I am today. Oh, to my friends, too. I'm not done yet. Alec. Uh, Alec Hoke. He's been my friend since third grade, second or third grade. It was a while back. Uh, but he's my true best friend. I love you, bro. <laughs> and, uh, we, yeah, we did everything together. We had sleepovers. We went to the bowling alley. We, I don't think we ever went to the movies. Yeah, we didn't do that, but we just hung out at my house a lot. Uh, watch movies at my house, go on, watch movies, go in the hot tub, go in the pool, go on the quad, go on the trampoline, play like games when you were little, like board games and stuff like that. Uh, now that we're older, we can both drive, so we could really do whatever we want, and we're still doing that. In fact, I'm hanging out with him this next weekend of June, so I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be cool. Uh, Saturday, actually, sat and I go by saying Saturdays are for the boys, because <laughs> they are. Uh, that's a weird saying, I heard it at school. Anyways, dude, been a true friend, and I'm going to stay in touch, even though you're going over to Eastern Michigan. I'm going to miss you, and I'm going to come visit you. Up next, Kyle House. I met Kyle in fourth grade, I believe it was, fourth or fifth grade, and I still have a picture of him giving me the bunny ears, like I was standing next to him. Next to one of my old my math teacher's class, and his name in South Davis was Mr. Barry. I don't know if he still works there, if he was retired, but... Um, yeah, Kyle, you've been a true friend, man. I appreciate it. Like, all the stuff we've done together. We, me and Kyle just always go places together. We just He just picks me up. I hop in his car. We just drive. Go to the movies. Go to Sabres. Go to a hockey game. Go to a Bandits game. Go to anything, really. Just go out to eat. Go downtown. Go to Chippewa. Go to... The, Anywhere, like, where did we go? Like, we went to Pearl Street one time, too. That was fun. Um, and Kyle actually built me this computer, amazing computer. I'll try to see if I can show you. Right there, if you can sort of see it. I don't know if you can, because I have my camera turned around. But yeah, that is the computer that... Is that even the right way? That's not even the right way. There it is. Okay, sorry, that was the wrong way. See that red light right there? There's a glare because my shade is open. But that is the first computer that Kyle has built me. It's not not the first that he's built me. It's my first ever computer that he's built me. And that thing is a beast. It's a tank. It can handle anything. Dude, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Even though I paid for it, you're one talented man. Man. <laughs> You're one talented uh, person because I would never know how to do that. So thank you. I appreciate it. And it's still running great. And hopefully for a while. So thank you, man, for everything. I love you. Never forget you. I, knew, I know you're going to UB. I'm still going to visit you. Um, so thank you again. And I'm just doing my top three friends. Up next, Samantha Gottstein. Uh, I've known her since... She says fourth grade, fifth grade. I don't remember that. I'm sorry, Sam. <laughs> I remember in seventh grade when we were at Orchard Park Bowling Lanes. Um, we were on the Mr. Joe Biondo, which is our bowling coach, my bowling coach up until this year. I just I was on the bowling team this year. We were division champions, uh, won the division title, and he is going back to seventh grade. He has signed us on the same lane, and. Me and Sam, that's when I first remember, like, remember meeting her. And I was like, oh, God, a girl? Oh, gosh. <laughs> and ever since, we've been best friends. And I remember, Sam, if you're watching this, I'm, do you remember when this one kid named Ali Dara, he was in our grade, and he was on the bowling team and tried out. He, I don't think he made it. He was not a good bowler. <laughs> he went up to the lane, 
threw the ball, slipped, and fell into the gutter. I was trying so hard not to laugh. That was just so funny. <laughs> I just still remember it to this day. Um, I did take Sam going like to a few days ago to my senior prom. Sam, it's been real. It was it was so fun. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time. Uh, you looked amazing in your dress, by the way. So nice job. <laughs> Uh, no, it was it was so fun. So thank you, Sam, for being a true friend. And I heard what my I heard what you said to my Nana. You said that you go I, I don't know I don't know verbatim what you said. You were like I love Spencer or something like that. So thank you. I love you too as a friend. Um, so thank you again for being one of my closest friends, female closest friends, girl closest friends. <laughs> Anyways, um, that's all I can really think of as of this point right now because again i'm going on four and a half hours of sleep but no i think i mentioned all the main points that i wanted i wanted to say um so thank you everyone in this video who i've mentioned you guys have been a huge part of my life i love you all and even though i'm going to college i'm still going to make my um, annual holiday videos all the time this isn't the last of me not the last of spencer right now Spencer Eisenhower, you'll probably hear me on the radio, who knows, I'm going to be on the Fredoni station, whatever that is, I don't know, I'm hoping to be on KISS 98.5, that's going to be a dream of mine, um, as either a sound, sound guy, like sound engineer or DJ or something like that, so, thank you guys, I love you all, and I'll see you next video.